We are back, finally, at Glass Build America. Can you believe it, Ellen? Yes, but just see for yourself. back at glass build but it is a little different this time right i mean when was the last time you came to a show and got a pool pass and we're not taking a swim break not yet <laughs> this is what they gave us after the temperature scan to enter the show the show floor is also different some people still have hesitancies about travel crowds and shows and chose not to attend Yes, and I, if I had to use two words to sum up the atmosphere ahead of the show, it would be curiosity and anticipation. So let's head over to the show floor after we mask up. Our first stop was with a company celebrating its 75th anniversary. We talked with David Harris with American Renolit about the celebration as well as some new films. Renolit this year celebrates our 75th anniversary. So, you know, we're really grateful to all of our customers and our partners and, and all my teammates worldwide to help us get to this um, accomplishment. We're, we're glad to be back at Glassbuild to be able to talk about it and to be able to meet with everybody. Trends are something that we follow very closely and, and not only in North America with our customers here in the US and Canada, but globally. So we see black continuing for a spell. It's going to be around for a while. We're optimistic about a gray in an exterior environment. We're hearing a little bit of rumbling about that, so we're putting together some, some options for that. So Exafoil FX is, a, is an acrylic-based PMMA product. Uh, contains no PVC, no plasticizers, no fillers. It makes it extremely stable. And then the top layer is PVDF, polyvinylidene fluoride. Super high performance in against salt and weathering and everything about it. This combination of polymers allows us to put a 20-year warranty on FX. So at Renolid, we consider ourselves more than a film supplier. If somebody wants to know about lamination, we can help you with the whole process. Co-suppliers, contract laminators, everything from marketing and training to get your staff and your salespeople running. Companies are also focusing on ways to meet the increasing efficiency requirement. While still using big glass. The door itself in this particular K2 configuration um, very large panels, very wide panels, which is designed to give you greater daylight opening in your house. But because of that, your glass is going to be heavy. So when you get into the triple pane, you've actually added 50% of the weight to your uh, IG unit for a triple pane. But with the thin glass triples, that allows us to put a very thin piece of glass in between, so you're still breaking up the airspace, but it keeps the weight down. I mean, you've got really virtually no added weight by going to the thin glass triples as opposed to a standard triple IG. Uh, the standard IG spacer for the super spacer, it is a uh, silicone foam based material, very flexible. The thin glass version of that does have a slot in that rectangle in the middle so that a third piece of glass can actually be inserted between the two outer panes. And when it comes to applying spacers for thin triples, Quantex demoed its float table. Okay, this is our, our application table when applying the spacer to the glass. It actually has a, a few functions of uh, float and suction, along with it has a brake mechanism that allows you to turn the glass and hold it in position so that when you're applying, you're not fighting any of the elements that are going to affect the overall quality of the, the spacer application. There is no question that the labor shortage is a huge concern. Software is one option that's helping companies continue to thrive. We're seeing a lot of growth. Uh, we, about three, four years ago, we quit selling desktop. It's strictly a cloud-based product. And when COVID hit last year, our sales actually for the cloud side of things and conversion took off because it enabled people to work from home, um, <clears throat> remotely, wherever. Uh, and that's just continued to grow. We've rolled out a new app this year, version 10. So it's, it's a true web app, not a server login product. Uh, we call it Glass Avenue 10. 
Um, that's come out, and then another feature that we've added to our system in the last couple years is our glass pay in, uh, credit card processing, payment processing, right through the software. And again, that gives uh, techs out in the field the ability to take a payment as well as in the office uh, and so forth. So while COVID's not been a fun thing for anybody, we actually have been able to benefit in many respects from it and help our customers. Not every year at this show do we see a giant leap forward. No, you don't. But I think we can agree that R16 is a giant leap forward. Vitro has teamed up with Landvac and VIG Technologies to offer a hybrid VIG option that can hit R16 performance. You know, we can only go so thick with triples, quads, insulated, and the Vacuum IG really gives you that performance. Uh, the way that this works is this is a monolithic vacuum insulated glass. It has two pieces of four millimeter and a 0.3 millimeter air gap. I, should, I shouldn't say air gap, no air gap, uh, giving it a nominal size of 8.3 millimeters. There's also a low E coating on there, like SolarVan 60, that gives it an enhanced solar heat gain. It can be insulated or laminated. We're actually gonna look at every market that's available. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You know, we operate in commercial, in residential, in a specialty sector, and we're already seeing a lot of inquiries from all different sectors. That's all the time we have for today. Should we go see if these pool passes actually work? Sure, after we write those articles. All jokes aside, stay tuned to usglassmag.com and dwmmag.com for more news and updates from the show. And also follow us on social media. Thanks so much for watching.